When we have a large image data set that we've brought into ARC for further processing or analysis, it's often best to clip it down to a smaller region subset so that any further processing will be done a lot faster. So what I'm going to do here is I've brought up the NDVI image in the viewer window and we also have the tree crowns layer. Now if I zoom into the tree crowns layer, it's a much, much smaller area and that's the only, that's only the area that we want to analyse here. So what I'm going to do is in the Arc Toolbox, if you haven't got Arc Toolbox activated already yet, you can see in the toolbar area you, have, you can bring it up where it says Arc Toolbox window. So you need to just simply click that on and that will toggle that on or off. So I've got the Arc Toolbox here and under Data Management Tools I can scroll down and click on Raster and then Raster Processing. And under the Raster Processing box I have the option for the Clip Tool. So if I double click on this to start with and ask me for the input raster, that's simply going to be my NDVI image. Just excuse that error there. So I'll bring the NDVI image up and the output extent is going to be based on the tree crowns layer. Okay, so if I just click on that there, what happens then is the coordinates that have been given for the upper left and lower right corners are automatically filled in based on the layer that I've asked it to clip to. So once I've done that all I need to do is to get an output raster data set um, which, which you navigate to your, your output directory there and I have already created it but that's what it's going to be called, the NDVI sub. And once you've done that all you need to do is click OK and that will run the process. So I'll cancel that anyway and open the resultant file that you should see here, which is my NDVI sub. Now what you see immediately is that I've just cut out this area and you'll see that the colours are quite different. Now this doesn't mean to say that the pixel values are different in any of your images. As it's, as it's cut down it should not have changed any pixel values, but it's just, just just displaying it differently because the statistics are different because of the image it's been chopped down you can see the low and high values in this particular area and now ranging from a value of 0 0.8 0 0.18 to 0 0.7 and I'm getting that through looking at the table of contents there as opposed to the full range of the NDVI. Now if you weren't certain and you wanted to to check any of those pixels you can actually look at Getting the image, inf the layer information up, or the inquire button, which has just gone off screen here. But if I just click on the identify tool there, it will allow me to click in any pixel and bring up information from all the layers you like. So if I bring up the select, the visible layers there, and click on any pixel you should be able to see that the, va the pixel value for both your subset or your clipped image is identical to that of the original image. Okay, So even though it's displayed differently and you'll see that in the stretched value down the bottom here where it says stretch 214 for the NDVI sub um, and, to, and a value of 204 in the full NDVI image. So that's just a check to make sure that nothing funny is going on when you clip your data.